Thanks, Barry, and hello to everyone joining us online today. As Barry said, my name is Paul McWilliams, and I'm the Technical Product and Innovation Manager for Terex Washing Systems, overseeing the product and plant designs for our project proposals. At this point, I'm going to take you for a virtual tour, tour through one of our latest Greenline installations. From feeder to filter press, I'll talk you through the components and processes that make up this turnkey solution, providing some insight into the Greenline methodology and the benefits it brings our customers. So let's get started. This plant installed earlier this year in Sweden is designed to process 60 tonnes per hour of C&D excavation waste, also known in the industry as muckaway. Based around the award-winning Aguar 60, the plant takes a single feed of what would be waste destined for landfill and converts it into three washed and sized aggregates and two grades of washed sand. Paired with the TWS AquaClear water management system, it provides a completely closed loop turnkey washed recycling solution from a single source. Now let's take a more detailed walk through the plant. The feeder selected for this plant is a H9, a 14 foot or 4.25 meter long feeder providing generous loading area and ample capacity to allow a single operator to run the plant. The feeder speed and the tipping grid functions are controlled by the operator by remote control providing consistent feed to the plant. This model shows the 4 inch or 100 millimeter hydraulic tipping grid option. This is used to reject any oversized lumps at the feed point, but this can be upgraded to a double deck vibrating grid which provides an excellent option for these lower tonnage recycling applications. The material then moves on to the main conveyor and as you see at this point we have the first overband magnet. This magnet aims to remove as much ferrous metals as possible at this early stage of the process, helping to improve the efficiency of the downstream processes to come. So now we come to the wash box where water is introduced to the process for the first time. This is an important part of the process, introducing a high volume of water to fluidize the material and present it uniformly onto the pre-screen. The pre-screen on the Ag Wash 60 is an 8x4 2 deck. With high pressure spray bars and polyurethane media throughout, the top deck rejects material larger than 65mm or 2.25 inch, or at a smaller aperture if tailored to the customer's requirements. The bottom deck is split and used to screen the sand materials into two different product sizes, again typically not to 2mm and not to 4mm, or 8 mesh minus and 4 mesh minus. This is washed into a central collection sump where all the wash water and fines from the entire washing process is collected. I'll come back to that part of the process shortly, but now with the sand and aggregates separated, I'm going to focus on the aggregates. The 4 to 65 mm material, 4 mesh to 2 and a quarter inch aggregates continue into the scrubbing process via a short transfer conveyor. En route, a second magnet removes any additional pieces of metal that have been liberated during the initial rinsing process. The aggregate scrubbing is an integral part of the washed recycling process, and for the Agwash 60, this high performance power scrub hull never disappoints. The twin shaft spiral blade configuration uses stone on stone attrition to break up conglomerated materials, while adjustable weirs and water injection encourages lightweight organics and other contaminants to float out the rear of the hull onto the thrash screen where the material is dewatered and discharged to the ground or into a skip as shown. The aggregate continues onto a two deck post screen where it receives a final rinse and is sized into three saleable products. I have yet to see a customer who hasn't been impressed by the quality and cleanliness of the aggregates from the Agwa 60. So all the water and fines from the scrubbing process and post screen are captured again in the centralized collection sump, where it joins the water and sand collected previously from the pre-screen ready for the sand washing process. This two grade sand plant utilizes twin rubber line pumps and cyclones that wash both grades of sand which are dewatered on a high frequency dewatering screen to allow immediately stackable and saleable coarse and fine sand products. So that completes the material washing process. So the next critical piece is recovering clean water from the wastewater to be reused back into the system. And the Terex AquaClear water management equipment provides a perfect solution. At this point, I'm going to give you a quick overview of this part of the plant as David is going to follow with a little more detail later on. In wash recycling, due to the typically high levels of organics and lights, the wastewater is first passed over a thrash screen which captures light fruitable waste that has made it this far in the process, with the remainder of the wastewater collected in a sump tank, in this instance a ground sump. The wastewater is then pumped to the AquaClear rake thickener while being dosed with flocculant en route. The stainless steel flock dosing unit is housed in this container based control room, 
which is partitioned to also provide a housing for the touchscreen plant electrical control system. The thickener or clarifier tank shown here is a rake style where sludge is collected in the central cone, which has tunnel access to prevent suction line blockages and, and allow easy maintenance. It is also fitted with a surface skimmer. The clarified water discharges over the peripheral weir to the clear water tank to be reused in the washing process, while the thickened sludge is pumped onto the homogenizing tank in preparation for the filter press. You will see in the background a taller tank, which is the optional lime dosing system. The lime dosing option can be used to reduce filter press cycle times, thus potentially reducing footprint and overall investment. Finally, the homogenized sludge is pumped to the AquaClear FP1500 filter press, where high quality cloths and plates are used, utilized to capture and dewater the sludge, and clear filtered water is expelled and returned to the main washing process. The resultant filter cakes are formed and released and discharged in the bay below, ready for onward handling. This final process maximizes the water recovery for the, this closed loop system, all automatically controlled from one centralized control system. So that gives you a taste of what a tailored Green Line solution looks like. Washed recycling as it should be.